In this video, I want to have a look at index notation. So index notation is just a short way of writing repeated multiplications. And what it's going to come out looking like is something like this. So we might have a number at the front. If we do, it's called the coefficient. Then we have a number on the base. And we have this number up the top. Now this number up the top can have a lot of different names. It might be called the index hence index notation. Sometimes it's called the power, and other times it's called the exponent. So exponent's probably one that you don't hear as often, but that all three of those words all mean the same thing. So for example, you might have a number that's like two to the power of three. So this time we don't have a coefficient because we don't have an extra number out the front, but the two is our base and our three is our power or our index. If we had something like 5 times 4 and then a 2 up the top, then our 5 is the coefficient, our 4 is our base, and the 2 is our power. We might always also have them with algebra. So for example, if we had 7m to the power of 3, then our 7 is our coefficient, our m is our base, and our 3 is our index or our power. So if we have a look at a few examples, our first one asks us to evaluate 2 to the power of 4. Now you can use your calculator to, to do this. You can just enter two to the power of four in your calculator and it will spit out an answer. But what it means is two times two times two times two. So that four means we're gonna have four of them multiplied together. Now if we did the two times two, that would give us four. If we times it by two again, four times two would give us eight. And then if we do the eight times two, that would give us 16. Now, if we're asked to write these next ones in index notation, so because there's lots of fives multiplied together, our five is our base, and we need to count how many there are. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So six is going to be our power. So five to the power of six is a short way of writing this whole multiplication. For our next one, we've got two different numbers. So we're going to have four to the power of one, two, three. So four cubed or four to the power of three multiplied by seven, and then there's one, two, three, four, five sevens. So seven to the power of five. Our last example is doing the opposite to example two. So it's already in index notation and we want to write it in expanded form. So nine cubed would be nine times nine times nine. So there's three of them because we had a power of three. For part B, we've got 10 squared times three to the power of five. So we'd have 10 times 10 for the 10 squared part and then times, and we're going to have five threes multiplied together. So three times three times three times three times three. So that's having a look at index notation.